Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Ah, Hey, collectors, it's going to be Steven here, and I am very excited to bring you a new YMSF review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the YMSF Wolfman. Now, this particular colorway is going to be a G-Fest exclusive, and I am happy to get my hands on this. To be clear, this was offered at G-Fest 2023 with some leftovers being available through a U.S. retail partner, and then there were some that were available uh, to Japanese customers. I will note that it does appear to be, however, completely sold out at the time of upload. So if you are looking to get this, hopefully YMSF will do another production run and it will be available directly through YMSF, which usually is going to be the cheaper option because the uh, US retailer, I think was selling it for like 110 bucks, not including shipping and handling and tax, depending on the state. Oh yeah, so with that being said, even though if you may not be able to get this specific colorway, of course, we can take a look at the sculpt and get a good idea behind how exactly YMSF may paint some future reissues. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look to see whether or not the Wolfman is going to be worth adding into your collection. All right, so taking a look at the figure in and of itself, I will say that the sculpt Though there's not really much pertaining to the source material, uh, pretty simplistic, and that's not a knock against the figure. I mean, once again, uh, Wolfman is going to be something of a Godzilla legend for those of you who are not familiar. Was it a lost film? Was it a fan film? Was it completed and just locked away in the archives? I'll let you go ahead and do the research, but pertaining to what is publicly available, it's mostly going to be very grainy stills. With that being said, the simplistic details are going to range for a nice rockin' six pack for the Wolfman, and the facial details, there's not going to be a paint application really whatsoever aside from a nice crimson dark red that is used here, almost to a burgundy color. So we don't really see anything beyond the sculpt for the eyes. And that's going to be the trend throughout the figure where we do have some raised portions of the sculpt or some very key details like around that six pack that he has that really help to accentuate the sculpt. For the Claws of Wolfman, we do have some yellow and orange paint application, which look really, really cool as well. So beyond that, uh, it does seem like according to the bottom of the feet, at least if I were to hazard a guess, he is going to be cast in a white, very light gray vinyl. I guess the last thing to discuss is that it does appear that there's going to be a black wash to really give it the idea of fur. While simplistic, again, I say that Wolfman is effective, and I quite like it. For articulation, there really isn't much to write home about with a waist swivel, so you can sort of get Wolfman to turn left and right, and shoulder swivel so you can raise and lower his arms. I'm not quite sure if he can get a full spin around, a uh, full 360 spin on the swivels, but nevertheless, uh, you don't really need to get that. That's totally fine. Fine. So let's go ahead and jump on over to a size comparison so you can see about how big Wolfman's going to be. And I would say that he is going to blend in rather nicely with a six inch scale collection. He is going to be bigger than some of the smaller six inch scale figures that you may have, which is actually fine for me. It's a good idea to have just a, like a big beefy Wolfman pummeling your kaiju. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Well, considering there's, realistically speaking, going to be only one Wolfman figure that is painted in circulation, because even though there are unpainted ones that are out there, not everyone does have the ability to paint, um, well, here you go. He's going to be rather difficult to get. I do know that those that are in Japan did have the ability to pick this up for 8,800 yen, and if you go by current exchange rate today, it's 145 yen to 1 USD, so you kind of figure out what the price is going to be there. Again, hopefully there will be another offering to U.S. customers once there is a repaint that is available. And quite frankly, I think that this is nice to have. These obscure kaiju are great to have in the collection. And with more companies look to experiment with these sort of oddities, it's a great time to be collecting kaiju figures. Keep in mind, this is going to be expensive, but YMSF sort of is a one-man army here, and he's making one-off things. So, thumbs up. Let's see more. Hey, collectors, that's going to wrap up the video today. And as always, thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, subbing. It all helps. I always enjoy responding to comments, so be sure to drop one down below and I will respond if I can. I do have supporters on Patreon as well, and each review gets an end card to show who is supporting each month. So here are the end cards. 
camera batteries, SD cards, even hard drives, it's not possible without that support. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Here's the final end card, so this way you can click subscribe, check out another video, or even check out the social media outlets. You know you want to. Before we end today, as in the description, there may be paid ad space, affiliate links, or product samples that were sent out in this video, so please check out the STR ad disclosure. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch ya in the next video.